the man at the heart of Europe's worst terrorist atrocities in a decade, arrived into the crumbling court that is Brussels' Palais de Justice. Salah Abdeslam, the logistics man for the Paris attacks, his arrest the possible motivation for the Brussels bombings. Abdeslam's lawyer told us his client was not involved in the Brussels plot. Have you have you spoken to have you what, what has Abdeslam said since the attacks to you? Uh, since the attacks of yesterday? Yes. Uh, he didn't say because he didn't, he didn't know it. How has he reacted to the attacks? He had no reaction. He had no reaction. Belgian media reported today, though, that Abdeslam was planning a Brussels attack. His lawyer went on to say he wouldn't be fighting extradition to France. Abdeslam is the person that brings this terrorist cast list together. The Brussels suicide bomber Khalid El Bakhroui, his brother, the suspect Ibrahim, the accomplice Najim Lakhraoui. The cell spent time in this flat in the Scarbeck area, left from here with their deadly luggage to the airport on Tuesday. So this is inside the block of flats in Scarbeck where uh, the men were holed up. You can see evidence of a police raid. This door uh, bashed in by some sort of battering ram. They tried this door f first, then they went upstairs to another flat. You come up here. And then we come to the very top floor. We assume that this is the flat the men were holed up in. We think they lived here for about a month. We know that neighbours complained uh, about their presence at some time over the last few weeks. And remember, when they put the explosives into the taxi, they couldn't fit them all in. So we assume that they brought some of the explosives in the luggage back to this flat, which was later uh, taken by police. <laughs> A resident first let us in, but then two very angry men associated with the owner had different ideas, asked us to leave with a broom handle. These are tense times in Brussels, over a hundred police raids in a matter of months. Not far from the flat, two young men sitting in the street, surrounded by armed police. Scenes becoming commonplace. Compliments of multiple terrorist attacks, a sprawling nexus of operatives, but always connected. The links between the Brussels bombers and the Paris attackers are becoming clearer. We know that Ibrahim and Khalid El Bahraoui were two of the Brussels suicide bombers. Khalid, who blew himself up at the Malbec metro station, provided safe houses for the Paris attackers. He rented a flat in Charleroi, where some of the Paris bombers met before carrying out November's attacks. DNA traces of four of the Paris suicide bombers were found in the apartment. He also rented another flat in Forest. It was raided by Belgian police on the 15th of March. Mohamed Belkaid, previously unknown to authorities, was shot dead in the raid, but Salah Abdeslam escaped from it. He was captured three days later. Another to escape the flat was Najim Lakhraoui. He suspected to have blown himself up at the Zavendam airport, alongside Khalid's brother, Ibrahim, who has been identified by prosecutors. Lakhraoui is believed to have been the bomb maker in the Paris attacks. His DNA was found in both of Khalid El Bahraoui's flats and, according to French prosecutors, on suicide belts used in the Paris attacks. The streets of Molenbeek, Scarbeek, where these men grew up and lived. Streets that at some level, they've changed forever. You can tell because even Belgian café culture feels that little bit more fragile. Last word to the owners of A La Maison, Scarbeck, Brussels. I think we've been blind. Uh, I, I say we, I don't know who exactly. We, we've been blind. It's our job too. We have to, to, uh, to change the way we live together.